So let's talk about breast pain, also known as mastalgia, and what can actually be done about it that is safe, natural, and clinically proven. Number one, let's talk about the causes of breast pain. Now, there are many causes. The most common of all is going to be hormone changes that's causing that, that will cause a condition known as cyclic mastalgia. So if it's only happening one time of the month, every month, this is most likely what's causing it. Breast cysts, these are basically, cysts are basically these fluid-filled sacs that can develop anywhere in the body, but they can develop in the breast as well. Uh, that can cause a lot of pain and tenderness. Next is surgery. After that is mastitis. This is actually a, um, this is an infection of the breast tissue itself. And how it develops is usually uh, during breastfeeding, uh, where bacteria can actually enter the breast through the nipple, and it can cause an infection. It's, it's actually quite common. Certain medications can cause this as well. There's going to be things like antidepressants, also known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Uh, then hormonal medications like oral, oral contraceptives as well as estrogen replacement uh, medications. Uh, those can all cause this problem. A, using a too small bra can also cause uh, breast pain. That's kind of one of the more obvious ones. This is one nobody wants to hear, the dreaded C word. That is not the most common cause of mastalgia. This is, uh, but it's important to always get checkups, get your annual mammogram or thermogram. Make sure that you uh, you do a uh, breast exam once a month uh, by just checking for lumps. And uh, usually that's, in the case of mastalgia, this is not the first thing that comes to mind. Fibrocystic breasts, this is a very common disorder as well. You can develop multiple cysts within the breast. And uh, that's also caused by hormonal issues. And so uh, each of these uh, have specific uh, methods of uh, ways that they are managed. The most common one is cyclic nostalgia, and that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about in this video when it comes to remedies. So the first remedy is going to be chaste tree. This is very common. Uh, it's used for many disorders related to uh, female health. It's not just for breast pain, it's also for some menstrual disorders, as well as PMS and PMDD. Very useful. Chamomile, this is one that most people wouldn't think of because it's not the first thing that comes to mind. Chamomile is very well known for its uses in sleeplessness and insomnia and helping you to, you know, to, to sleep and relax. Uh, but chamomile is actually very useful for female health, not just for nostalgia, but also for conditions like PMS, uh, as well as um, menstrual cramps, also known as dysmenorrhea. Langella sativa is another one. This is also known as black seed, very popular. And uh, Langella sativa is mainly known for its anti-inflammatory benefits and things like that, and you know, helping with cholesterol levels and blood sugar and liver health. But it's also used for reducing pain in nostalgia. Curcumin, another potent, well-known anti-inflammatory that comes from the East Indian spice known as turmeric. Uh, this is a powerful uh, tool for managing pain in general, especially inflammatory pain. In the case of nostalgia, there's... Um, uh, some research that was done in curcumin as well, where it was found to be very beneficial. As always, my uh, my videos have the studies posted in the description. Curcumin has to be taken with a bioavailability enhancer. It's going to be something like black pepper or ginger or uh, purpurine, which is the chemical found in black pepper. Next is ginkgo biloba. This is very popular uh, for its anti-stress benefits. It's an adaptogen hub, and it's used for many disorders. Uh, not just for stress, but also for weakness, for um, general debility, as well as specific conditions like vertigo. Very useful in the case of nostalgia, also highly, highly beneficial. Next, St. John's Wort. Uh, this has gotten a lot of um, a lot of hype recently for its benefits in treating depression. But St. John's Wort has many benefits. It is something that needs to be used under proper supervision because it can interact, excuse me, it can interact with some medications. And um, please use that under the proper supervision. St. John's Wort, in my opinion, is a very powerful uh, medicinal hub, and uh, it shouldn't be uh, just taken blindly. But it does have many benefits, especially in nostalgia, as well as PMS. 
Uh, flaxseed is another one. Flaxseed is known for its benefits when it comes to hormonal health as well as uh, colon health and its omega-3 content and many other things. Uh, flaxseed also, I just read a study a few weeks ago about its uh, uses for nostalgia. Highly beneficial. So uh, this is my list of remedies for cyclic nostalgia. And uh, out of this list, I would recommend if you're going to take something on your own, you just want to give a home remedy a try. Chamomile is a good one. Flaxseed, even Nigella sativa, because this is black seed, you can buy this at the grocery store. Um, these three are the safer ones. If you're going to use chase tree, curcumin, jigger bloba, or St. John's wort, uh, make sure you have the supervision of a healthcare provider that specializes in this type of medicine. That's going to be an Ayurvedic doctor, a naturopath, a functional medicine doctor. And uh, I think even a Chinese medicine doctor would be familiar with these. Uh, not to say that your regular physician is not familiar with these, but the uh, the types of physicians I mentioned use it on a daily basis. So yeah, that's my take on uh, remedies for cyclic nostalgia. I hope this information has helped you. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can do so through my website, drnishal.com. I do online video call consultations. So no matter where you are in the world, you can get in touch with me and I can help you. I'll see you in the next video.